ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rona Martin's Laughing. And tonight's very special guest, a sensational football player and all-around great guy, yes, Mr. Sir. Joe Namath. Joe Namath. Hey, hey. you feel a little bit more at home, we have a little something for you. You think you could do a little something for me, too? Huh? <laughs> there you oh, go. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, good boy. Pretty good. <laughs> there you go, Joe. You, you're looking a little rusty there. Are you kidding? I've never been in better shape. Why yeah. don't you two guys go out for a long pass? Oh, a oh, pass for the deal. Whatever you want. Right. Long pass. Keep going. That's it. A lot, little bit more, a little further. That's it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Joe Namath's Laugh-In. I would... Welcome to Laugh-In. I'd like to buy some of the latest uh, records. <laughs> no, Kitty. Yeah. Would you like one of our biggest hits? Yeah, sure. <laughs> University's being run. Take For two o'clock, baby. Hey, listen, you know, in England, weight is measured in stones. How many stones would I weigh? You? Uh, just one. Just one? Yes. Gibraltar. <laughs> My husband's missing. Could you describe him for me? Well, he, he's a good man. Well, nowadays, a good man's hard to find. <laughs> They're gonna keep them down on the farm after they sing carry. Hmm. I can see you're a very bitter person. <laughs> and then, at last, oh, my flower. I'm sorry, sir, I've forgotten to tell you the cellar is flooded again. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, how old is Bert? I'm 10 years older than she is. He's 39. <laughs> That's amazing. You look so much older on television. Oh, it's all done with makeup. I don't look like that at all. Matter of fact, around NBC, the girls often mistake me for Dean Martin. Well, any girl that thinks you're Dean Martin is making the mistake of her life. <laughs> oh, they're perfect. I'll wear them home. Are you sure? Oh. Of course I'm sure. Harriet, I see you've taken up knitting. Yeah, a little something you do in my leisure time. Oh. <laughs> you get much leisure time? <laughs> you love the sleeves, they're out in the driveway. <laughs> there are three things a young man should remember when he goes out on his first date. Always dress neatly, be polite all evening, and never let your dates see you inhaling the salad. <laughs> Here come the ducks. Yeah, boy, they sure are grouped together. Yeah, it looks like they're carrying something. Can you make out what it is? Well, it looks like a... Uh... Looks like a bomb! <laughs> you can't imagine how surprised I was when I found out I was asked here to accept an award. <laughs> I only have to go in the army. I've got flat feet. Hmm. Well, don't get your hopes up. He passed. <laughs> Look at your nails. <laughs> well, what are you doing? Oh, well, last month I planted some bird seed. And look at my crop. <laughs> Come on, man. Tonight, I want you to get out there and really fight. Fight. Get out! Get away! Wait! <laughs> this is for you. Broadway! Good morning. Good morning. A man 
about your cells? You don't like the color of your apartment. No, I don't. I'd like to see a lighter color. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Did you have the duck? Oh, yes, I did. Well, here's your bill. Smith, I'm giving you F on your final exam for cheating. You had the answers written on the inside of your clothing. How can you say that? Because the capital of Indiana is not fruit of the loom. I'll <laughs> see you tonight, though, will I? No, Thursday. <laughs> Hello? Kate Smith Dancing School. Tula, your first big hit was Downtown, a song about how great it is to be in the city. That's right. And you know I made enough money from that one record to be able to move to the country. <laughs> I hope we didn't hurt you, Joe, baby. Yeah, show Mr. Namath. It'll slip you under a rug. When do you move your quickest? Well, when I find out the girls lied to me about not being married. <laughs> My name is Edith Fan, and I'm five years old. And I don't have to say nothing if I don't want to. And you know what? I don't want to. And that's the truth. <laughs> and I can rock this chair off the porch if I wanted to. <laughs> Why do... Uh, hey, just a moment. What? Let uh, Charo do it. She okay, reads that, very that, well. That Charo. Is, Go ahead, Charo. Okay. Why do people always mistake me for Raquel Welch? For Raquel Welch. Oh, give me two good reasons. Good, good, good reasons. Good, good reasons. Oh, oh. I didn't know Joseph Natalie became a waiter. Oh, yes. He gave up his act with the circus. Well, after all those years, he finally got the circus out of his blood. Right. <laughs> Across the road because he was a chicken. You know what's not as good as the alligator here. Okay, now he's coming another. Okay. You know they matador. You did what did she say? You Ju. know. You know. Oh, no, okay. No. Thank you, you. You know. Gracias. Uh, you know. For nada. They matador. Ten matador. Ten matador. Ten matador. The bull fighter yeah. could not kill laughing. Why not? Ah, there is just too much bull in it. <laughs> <laughs> Democratic National Convention. Kill the National Guard. Mother's heart. <laughs> the mind does wonder to mother's love both dear and true. As absence makes the heart grow fonder, we, dear mother, grow fonder of you for your sweet smile, which means so much. <laughs> such joy there is no other than the tender arms and gentle judge of you <laughs> the whole world's dearest mother oh it's so true <laughs> oh my boy <laughs> oh oh that joe namath what a romantic figure i wonder what it would be like married to him Oh, just think, Mrs. Broadway. Oh, ra da -de da Oh, oh Joe, you never talk to me. There's always a bunch of girls in the apartment. Look, I can't talk to you now. There's a bunch of girls in the apartment. <laughs> but, Joe, why do you have to bring them here? What do you want me to keep them in the locker room? Well, I've made up my mind. Either they go or I go. And don't you think I'm not going to miss you either? <laughs> so that's it. Well, you 
just tell me one thing that those girls have got that I haven't got? Uh, one thing, me. <laughs> One great advantage. Advantage. Advantage is to live in, in Spain rather than the United States. Why? Why? Laughing is not shown there. Do you see that worm? Well, I sure do. Ain't that a cute little fella? I don't want that apple. Well, all right. Here's your worm, that'll be 10 cents. Oh, I don't know if I should have rung that up on meter pets. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, I thought you were your daughter. You want talk or action? You know, this is the 17th time I've volunteered for the Army, but every time I come down here, they reject me. Why do you keep coming back? I just love taking the physical. 